My name is John. I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. I now live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I moved to Florida probably about seven, eight years ago. Hi, uh, my name is Brad Meany. I, I grew up in Staten Island, New York. Uh, I moved down here to South Florida when I was getting my master's uh, in hospitality management. My name is John. I am 40 years old. Originally from Maryland, I have lived in Fort Lauderdale now for about 16 years. Hi, my name is Derek Dottie. Uh, born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. 25 years old. I've been living as a gay man for about eight years now. My name is Christopher, and um, I am from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a gay man. I, I've always known, but I thought everyone was bisexual, strangely enough, because of how everyone interacted. I knew I was first attracted to guys in eighth grade. My first thought of being gay, I would have to be around 13. Coming out for me was kind of weird, because I, like, I, I, I always knew. I came out at 12. Uh, which I know is pretty young compared to, to most people. I came out in 2005 when I was 18 years old. It's one of the hardest things I think I've ever had to do. I first came out, um, I told my mother that I was bi. You know, it wasn't easy telling, you know, at such a young age, you know, that I was gay. I used to consider myself bisexual. The first time I remember coming out of the closet, to anyone, or telling anyone, um, I was t 13. And I told my best friend, uh, Becky. How is the fact that you're gay, how are you supposed to apologize for God, something that you are? You know, my, my parents were shocked, and, and of course, you know, being prepubescent, they, they couldn't imagine that I knew anything about my sexuality. I remember the day my dad came to me and he asked me to go to lunch with my mother. The first person I told was, I guess, which you could say is when I came out, was my best friend Jamie. My mother and my stepfather um, found a note that I had written to another boy um, in my middle school. Even at a young age, I felt that people should like and accept me for who I am. If I treated them well, then, then me being gay shouldn't change their thoughts of me. When I first came out, um, I was not okay with being gay at all. I remember she looked at me and I can kind of see the tears in her eyes. And she goes, I don't think you're doing drugs, but is there anything that you need to tell me or that you want to tell me? My mother confronted me with it, and she was like, what's going on? She's like, people call, you, you don't tell us what you're doing, you're totally closing us out, you've never been this way. We have a very, very tight-knit family, we still do. My family is very uh, later on accepting that I was fact, that, the fact that I was gay. I remember her asking me, she's like, do you like boys or do you like girls? And I was like, I like both. Is that so wrong? And she's like, yes. Yes, it is. My father, not so much. Um, I don't even know if he knows that I'm, I'm gay. I haven't spoke with him in a long time. I just, I knew who I was, you know, and I had crushes on all my sister's boyfriends. After I came out to my mom, she told my dad, and they sent me to many, many, many therapists. I remember my parents asked me to go to counseling at our church, which I agree because I never wanted to be gay and I used to pray to God not to make me gay. I had this lady telling me this. I had a 20-something, my next therapist, a 20-something year old telling me this. She pretty much told me I was gonna die of AIDS because I was gay. It's okay that you're gay, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. But it took when I was 12 and 13 years old, looking at this wall and this older lady telling me that I was confusing friendships with sexuality, you know, as a 13 year old. I have been married. It was to a man named Shane, uh, the most beautiful soul I've ever had the privilege to meet in this life. 
I had a life partner of 14 years, his name is Darren. We met, uh, I believe, when I was about 23 years old. Shane passed away a year ago from cancer, and uh, it was very difficult. 14 years we spent together, uh, 14 amazing years. He's a great man, and uh, I love him dearly. Uh, he passed of cancer, but uh, we had an amazing life together. Even though the state of Florida and much of our country didn't recognize and doesn't recognize our marriage, all of our friends and family do, and most importantly, we did. I would think the, the best advice I could give someone who, who wants to come out and is that there will never be a good time. Do what you think your heart says. You know, you're beautiful for who you are. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. It's not a choice. It will never be easy. Don't live your life based on someone else's opinion. Don't think that you'll never find love because you're gay or, or bisexual or transgender or anything like that. Come out when you're ready. Don't let anybody force you to come out. Feeling confident in yourself. You just have to be who you are. And if you're being harassed, it's only temporary. Surround yourself with good people. Do you. Do you, whether it be bi, whether it be straight, whether it be gay, just do you. Don't let any of the people who take that to fanaticism ever make you feel bad about who you are. Be strong, whether your family accepts you, your friends you have now accept you. Be who you are. Every parent from the time you're born has expectations of what's gonna happen. God loves you. In that split second, you've taken away all the dreams and all the hopes that they had for you. But that's not to say that you, they can't still share the wonderful dreams and hopes. They may just be new ones and different ones. By right of God, he made you that way. I don't fault parents or family members for being upset or disappointed or sad when they find out because we change their lives too with that information. But I love being gay. I love it. I would never love to be anything else but gay.